Good day, folks. Today I'm going to tie you up a crafty deceiver. This is a cross between my crafty bait fish fly and a lefty's deceiver. Uh, this one's tied in the uh, great color here they call the electric chicken. It's a very, very highly productive color that's been used with many, many bait fish patterns. Hard tackle and soft tackle. You'll see a lot of them down in the salt, many other places. They're very, very effective. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Well, let's get the materials that need to tie the fly. See the fly I got on the waist here is more of the chartreuse and white. Got a little pink underbelly on it here, but uh, primarily a very, very good color. The next color I'm going to do here is more of the uh, electric chicken color. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Third, I'm going to be using uh, Gamagatsu SP11. That's a nice 2-watt uh, two two uh, hook here. Perfect bend saltwater hook. Be using some uh, one aught fluorescent green thread. Uh, the scale I'm going to be using some lateral scale over the uh, tail. Also some this bait fish uh, uh, crystal flash. The tail I'm going to be using some of this chartreuse uh, neck hackle here. This one on the vise here has got the turkey schlappen. And I am running short of that stuff. I got to go schlapping shopping. <laughs> That's quite a word. And then uh, craft fur here. I use the extra select. It's going to be hot pink, uh, white, and uh, chartreuse. That's your electric chicken color. It's a very one of the best productive colors I've ever fished. And you'll see a lot of uh, tackle guys and everybody using that for many, many species. Then we're going to use the same colors in uh, bucktail. So let's. Uh, and then we use a large eye. We need that on uh, predator uh, flies for sure. These are 7 16 ultra eyes. And some UV uh, resin and marine goop to finish that fly up. Okay, let's get the hook in the vise here. This is a very easy fly to tie. Let's that's a bulk. Doesn't take a ton of materials like you'd think either. Some of those pike flies get to be 12 inches long and they got half a fly shop hanging on them. They work. I'm not saying they don't, guys. I'm not trying to ridicule anybody. They all work. Everybody has their place. I just like to fish these flies. This one's about 6 inches. And it's it's big. And, and big enough to get a job done. And it's easier enough to throw. I'm going to take uh, three hackles on each side I have three yes I do no I got four pretty easy you can go with three or four whatever you wish I curve them inside on these ones I was doing more of a bass flat curve them outwards and let them kick I want this one to be user friendly to easily thrown Flash that on this side all the way along. Make sure you get it along the shank a bit so those feathers stay lined up. The turkey schlopping is the best feather for this job. It's so soft, really breathes well. This one will track good. It's, it'll it'll be fine, but they they they'll breathe too once they're in the water. Okay, now I want to get my lateral scale in here at this point. I'm going to get two pieces. Lateral scale on this side, along the other side there. Make sure that they're they're not coming off the way you like. Cut them and just lay them straight so they they track right in on your on your hackle. So that'll get that'll get them following along just perfectly inside of your your feathers. Okay. That's good there. Now we'll get the bucktail involved. And uh, I am running short of that too. I'm getting hurting for materials here. I have to go do some shopping again. So let's go um, grab some of this fluorescent yellow bucktail for the top here. And I'm, like, I'm ahead of Just a little bit. I'm gonna. This gives it some of the bulk we're looking for. Come in the bottom. 
like the darker colors on the bottom. And I'm going to come in with some hot pink on the bottom, a little bit shorter. I grabbed some of the shorter uh, hair on the closer to the bottom of that patch. This electric chicken color is really good. I can't I've fished that in so many different patterns, that color. It's been good. It's really good. I want to bring a little of my weight a little longer. Tie that on the bottom. I use a one knot thread because it, you can put a lot of pressure on that. The pink is showing through that a little bit. That's good. I'm not done with the pink yet. Okay, bucktails are out of the way. Now I'll just bring in. Uh, Walked over a bunch of my stuff. Now I'll bring in some of this uh, crystal flash. Get a good chunk of that over the top. Quite a bit, in my opinion. I there's some of these flies get really, really, really bright. I I like it there. I like the flash, but. I don't like it taking over the colors and the breathability of the pattern. Kind of what I want right there. Okay, let's get our, our craft hair in. I'm going to grab some of the pink for the bottom. This really swims nice. It's a, I use this a lot on the uh, on big bait fish patterns and also you can do them on lots of small ones. I'm leaving a little bit of the uh, bulk in the bottom here. You can see it's got a natural taper to it. I'm coming just ahead of that. I'm going to cut those butts off though. We're going to have some more bulk showing up here in a hurry. Okay that's coming around the back really nice and that gives me all the hot pink I want to see. And lots of turns. Okay, that's done. Doesn't take much. We're going to really bulk this up. Now, coming over the top with a hot pink. Or the um, chartreuse again. Thin that one out a little bit more. Come around the top. Just lay that on top under very thin. Okay, there we go. We got everything kind of Showing up, kind of coming along the middle of where I want it. That's good. Now we'll come up about so oh, half an inch from the head. Now we'll do the uh, reverse tie here. We're going to do a hollow tie or a, however you want to see it. I like call it a, kind of a bulkhead. Leave a little bit of that under fur in the bottom. Take some of it out. I'm going to go to the bottom with my weight always. Goes on the bottom. I think I missed some of the hair there. I did, yes. You can go with little smaller patches than, than too large. It, it will uh, gonna put another one in the bottom here, catch that in. And those butts I'm going to leave right there. That's good. Tie them all down. And we'll come in the top. Some more of that Electric yellow, fluorescent yellow, chartreuse, whatever color. That's good. Take a little bit of the under fur out, not all of it. Need that bulk. And this is going to go on the top. And I just kind of spread it out my fingers a little bit, as you can see. And really get some good turns over these butts. Okay. Now I'll just get a hair packer here. I'm going to push this back. And this would give me the bulk. That um, Lefty's Deceiver is a great fly, don't get me wrong. I just like these style heads because they, they push water. And I really like the, the vibration I get out of, out of the fly and how it's going to fish in the water. It's going to really breathe well. I'm just going to make sure I preen that back a little more. Pushing really hard on that. 
I got a good tie on it. I got really snug down there with that big thread. I'm just going to whip finish this off. And there you go. If you have difficulty with this um, bulkheads wanting to sneak up, sneak ahead on you, you can always put a little um, UV in there and let it dry to that shape. I'm going to leave it without and let it just breathe naturally. It's going to look really good when it's in the water. It's going to cast pretty good. Um, and then I simply come in here. I'm not going to bore you with how to cement a fly or do eyes or anything like that. But I just take a big, big dollop of my, uh, well, I'll put one on here just for you, just to show you. My marine goop is just something I really like using. I put a really good, generous dollop of that on where I want my eye. Grab this eyeball. Set that right in there and I just push. You'll see that goop coming out around the edge of the eye and that, that to me is just right on right there. So there's a good fly for you. It's uh, just a, a bit of a hybrid, I guess, the kind of a crafty looking uh, deceiver, I guess you'd call it or whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want, but it's electric chicken color. I'll just come back here, preen this out a little bit. You can see the actual shape of the fly when I I, I get it, what it's going to look like in the water. And uh, it's, it's a fly that's very user-friendly, and the, these fish will be all over it. It's, it's a great bug for you. So I'd like to thank you again for watching. Um, we'll catch you again real soon.